Hello and welcome to the first in a series of American Sommelier wine service videos. Today we're at the Marrow in the West Village of New York City. Christy Petrillo, former sommelier of John George Restaurant on Central Park South, is going to demonstrate the proper service using a Paul Gorg Brut Non Vintage Rosé. When deciding what glass we're to use, today we have selected the flute. The flute is the long, narrow glass that delivers delicate bubbles up the middle of the fluid. And your restaurant may use a wine glass. Remember when marking the table that the outside glass is the glass that the guest is going to be drinking from. Before presenting the bottle, always have your torchon so that you can wipe the bottle down so it's dry when presenting to the guest. Paul Guerg Rosé. Once the guest has approved that it is the accurate wine, you're going to step off to your side table and use the knife of your corkscrew to score the second lip of the bottle so that there is always a clean cut in the foil. Christy is demonstrating that now. Once you have removed the outside of the wrapper, you will twist counterclockwise six and a half times on every bottle of bottle fermented wine. You will need to make sure that your other hand's thumb is firmly pressed on the cork, making sure it does not inadvertently come out of the bottle. If your bottle temperature is not appropriate, when you open it, this might happen. With the proper temperature bottle, while holding the cage, and the cork in one hand, a quarter turn in each direction will loosen the cork's grip on the bottle. Let the guest have a sparkling wine, not one that will go flat faster. You will pour yourself a taste to ensure if this is your house style, that there are no issues. Once you have approved the quality of the bottle, present the cork on a bread plate to the host or hostess. You will then pour the host or hostess a taste from the right side. Once they approve the bottle, you will move in a counterclockwise direction, women first, doing a full circle of the table. You're looking to pour somewhere between half and three quarters of a glass of champagne per person so that the temperature is maintained as constant, that there's still champagne in the bottle once the table is poured, and that the temperature in the bottle in the ice bath remains at the service temperature. The pour should be one steady fluid pour, slow enough so that the champagne does not mousse up and overflow the glass. Once you have the entire table poured, you return to the host, male or female, finish delivering the champagne to their glass, and then you're going to return the bottle to its ice bath. Returning to the table to remove the cage and or the cork and the bread plate that it was presented on is the last thing at this table before you wish them a wonderful meal. Enjoy your champagne. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Proper Service. American Sommelier's next video will be Proper White Wine Service. Stay tuned.